I want to talk to you about deadhead miles. And deadhead miles are really, really important to really uh, think about, especially if you are a delivery driver that really does uh, a lot of uh, OTR. So this is kind of important. So whether you are a trucker, you are a cargo van driver, you are a sprinter van driver, you drive a box truck or have you, you want to really pay attention to deadhead miles because you are actually losing money the more deadhead miles you have, okay? So here are the facts I want you to really pay attention to this year. I want to really give you a definition about deadhead miles, the cost, how to really uh, avoid them, and how to really make sure that you are running a profitable delivery business, whether you are having a truck or you having a cargo van or whatever, okay? So here are the facts I want you to really pay attention to. Deadhead miles actually uh, really is, is kind of important. I, those, those miles are really important because you are actually losing money. So if a truck or a cargo van or a Sprinter van doesn't have a trailer attached, it's a deadhead truck in trucking terminology. It means that the driver dropped off a load and is on uh, his or her way to pick up another load and head or even headed home without a load. So when driving, uh, when driving without a, without cargo, drivers lose money all the time. Those empty miles, empty miles, that's another name for deadhead miles. Those empty miles actually uh, still require paying for fuel and putting uh, wear and tear on your on your trucks, on your cargo vans, on your vehicles overall. Okay, so you want to really avoid those uh, empty miles all the time. So deadhead miles are really really are the number of miles you drive with an empty load either returning to home base or driving to a new destination to pick up a new load. It's pretty straightforward. So that's, that's important to really think about. So a deadhead truck, for instance, is not the same as a uh, bobtailing. So driving a, a, a cargo truck that doesn't have a semi trailer hooked up. So when a driver drops off a load and travels to pick up another load, the distance in miles they travel are deadhead miles. And this is kind of important. So drivers uh, have time when they are not carrying loads but they are unprofitable miles unless they are getting paid for their deadhead miles. So if there is no load to carry, they are losing money big time. So the goal for drivers is only to go relatively short distances without, without cargo. Drivers actually have to monitor the money they make carefully because they have to pay uh, their IFTA taxes, among other things. They have to make money to be profitable. They have to pay insurance. They have to pay a lot of stuff, okay? So if they can't make that payment, they are not eligible, for instance, for an IFTA sticker in the future. So uh, I want to quickly talk to you about the deadhead uh, trucking. So deadhead trucking is a practice of driving a truck with an empty uh, trailer or a flatbed, okay? So this is kind of important. And uh, so you do not get paid for deadhead miles at all, whether you're doing trucking or, or a regular cargo van, like you, you, you're doing a light duty or heavy duty or even uh, mid-sized duty, you are not getting paid. I want to go a little more deeper in terms of the detriments that you can think about. While driving deadhead is bad for all kinds of delivery companies, trucking companies, cargo van businesses, sprinter van businesses, box truck businesses. So driving a, a deadhead truck or a deadhead uh, cargo van is an efficient practice that costs you as a driver and uh, your trucking company, your delivery company in general. Okay, so in, mo in most cases. Drivers are not paid for their deadhead miles, right? Some clients will offer compensation for deadhead miles, but usually it's not enough to cover all of the expenses associated with uh, extra driving when you think about it. Because when you are deadheading, you all still uh, have to pay for the fuel. I, I, swear, I spoke about that, but you also have to uh, you to uh, allocate drivers, uh, like you have to allocate extra time and effort on driving without profiting off of that time. As a driver so this could be particularly frustrating for drivers who are already overworked with busy schedules if your drivers are deadheading frequently without proper pay you will likely struggle with employee retention and morale that's an important element to think about okay additionally deadhead driving puts additional wear and tear on uh, trucks cargo vans sprinter van box truck all kinds of vehicles without any financial pay payoff so the more you drive the more preventative maintenance your vehicles will need and you also be at a higher risk of uh, higher risk for breakdowns and other emergencies so dead heading not only has a negative impact on your company financially but it also harms the environment around you and so more driving equals more carbon emissions and uh, this can be particularly harmful when uh, those carbon emissions are not directly linked to a, to a shipment 
so it's, it's one of those things where you want to look at the the whole the, the whole uh, the whole uh, the whole matter the whole issue holistically okay so in rare cases dead uh deadheading can be even dangerous think about it because uh, empty trailers are much more difficult to drive than full trailers and if you encounter severe weather with uh, heavy winds your truck could potentially uh, crash or fall over so this is something to, to really think about and uh so that's uh so you yeah, i just give you a, a lot of detriments you need to think about this year when it comes to a uh, dead heading now let me really go a little deeper in terms of the cost so what's the cost of driving dead head miles so uh empty miles cost money especially if you are an owner operator on the roads today if you're not being reimbursed for a dead head miles that means what it means that you are paying for fuel out of pocket that's for sure i mean have you seen uh, have you seen the, the the prices lately for a fuel that's just crazy okay and uh, if you are not careful actually you're paying for uh, for fuel uh, un unnecessarily can uh, make a load unprofitable so besides uh, besides fuel cost you are also putting additional wear and tear so that the wear and tear is is, is important why because so, sometimes maintenance can really uh, eat like 10 percent 15 percent of your budget okay and on top of that when you are driving deadhead miles you are spending time that could you could use to haul other loads and earn money i mean maybe this is just time to actually spend uh on uh, load bars and, and really chase uh, more loads okay now not every lane is perfect okay and drivers often look for ways to help them avoid that deadheading and so this is where this is where you want to use load bars to limit deadhead miles so as a trucker or as a cargo van driver or, or as a business uh, as a box truck driver you if you need additional loads you have a few options to help you avoid wasting diesel and cutting into uh, your pay however it sometimes takes uh, careful planning before your trips so one way is to actually check uh, for a deadhead mileage so when a driver looks up uh, new broker jobs they can actually uh, check to see if a broker is including deadhead mileage so this, this can help cover the, the cost of mileage if a driver has to drive let's say empty miles for great distances like for instance if you have to drive 50 miles or 200 miles or you know and uh un with no load you also want want to look for loads that require return material so this can help you as a driver keep your vehicle weighed down especially in the winter months when uh, high winds are a factor so if you can't find a, a return load with the same broker it might help to actually check with uh, nearby brokers or even shippers in the area so that's kind of important especially from a flexibility point of view okay and uh so this is kind of cool because it really helps you with affordability but also with uh, accountability and another area to explore is using load boards they are convenient online job boards that connect shippers and carriers and so uh truckers and cargo van drivers uh, among others can find available freight on their given routes for example they can also find loads in other destinations if they want to uh, head south let's say for warmer weather So when you think about deadhead miles, you have to really think about the fact that you, you can really uh, strategize a, a little more to avoid the costly nature of uh, deadhead miles, okay? You can avoid empty miles by planning your trips in advance. For example, you can actually go through a load board to uh, find uh, high paying loads to fill your truck or a cargo van or, or a box truck or step uh, or whatever van you have and provide you with the information you need to uh, maximize your pay. But the thing is you want to have a clear idea from, from the get-go what a load what a route will actually cost you that way if you do things proactively you can really have a clear idea about how much you, you could pay for it and how much this uh this load could potentially uh, generate in revenue for you that way you can look at cash inflows and cash outflows and see if you are actually coming out on top in uh, in this equation okay so basically uh what you want to do is you want to go to a load board such as uh, that a load board such as a truck stop load board you want so you have a we actually have a covered this on another show on another show but you have actually at the top seven the top eight the top ten load boards this year for truckers but also for all kinds of uh, possibility okay so you have tens of thousands of loads posted by vetted brokers if you have the right load board you can you have an easy sorting by lane and routes that's what you want anyway you want to have this sort of easy sorting so you have a clear idea what you're driving into 
and now really find yourself in, in some in some like a, with some kind of a crappy route you want to have visibility into all load details including the posted rates that way you have a clear idea about what what kind of feature you're looking for you also want to look at the average posted paid rates and density of loads versus trucks at origin and destination and you want to calculate also IFTA taxes on the go. So IFTA taxes are kind of important because uh, those are going to eat into your revenue if uh, not properly uh, calculated. Okay, so that's really fantastic to think about that way. Let me talk to you about the top hacks this year when it comes to uh, avoiding one sin for all dead helmas in your in your operation. Dead helmas in your uh, let's say uh, in your uh, trucking business in your cargo van business, in whatever business you have, okay? So, the first tip I want you to think about is that you want to use technology to plan your routes ahead of time. You want to really plan things ahead of time. Don't be reactive, be proactive. Don't be reactive, be proactive. Don't be reactive, be proactive. I'm just repeating this uh, three times so you know how important it is, okay? So being proactive is kind of cool because uh, you are actually anticipating things and that head mouse can be costly for your brain, but luckily, you can actually uh, use technology. So use the transportation management software to actually uh, have complete visibility of all your shipping routes. This makes uh, it makes it easier to plan efficient routes and uh, minimize deadheading. So the best way to do this is to get in the, in the habit of thinking several steps ahead when planning shipments. So before, I mean, let me give you an example. Before you dispatch a driver, okay know exactly what they are going after their their shipping is complete know exactly where they are going so if you encounter a situation where a driver would need to deadhead use a load bars and other client management tools to search for other shipments to add to their route instead of uh, deadheading the second thing you want to really think about here is uh you want to stick to your schedule so sticking closely to your pre-planned schedule is another way to avoid deadheading so shipping delays pile up quickly. So if you are late, let's say dropping off a shipment, you could also end up missing a pickup, which ultimately results in a deadhead trip. So as a truck driver or a cargo van driver or whatever driver you are, there are always uh, going to be some delays that are out of your control. However, researching your route ahead of time will help you be more prepared and potentially avoid uh, traffic delays. In particular, it's important to uh, research al al alternate routes to take in the event of a large traffic jam or let's say weather related delay and the last thing you want to do here is that you want to uh, prioritize paid uh, deadhead routes so unfortunately there will still uh, be times when you need to drive a deadhead route no matter how efficiently you plan your trips so when this happens make sure to prioritize clients that offer reasonable payments for deadhead miles while you may not make as much money as you would carry in a full shipment for instance for this distance you might be able to uh, break even and many load boards will allow you to search for uh, shipments that offer incentives like deadhead pay so working with a uh, freight broker can also help you negotiate higher paying shipments i want to talk to you about some warnings here so you have to really understand that uh, the uh, the risk is not just uh, on the monetary aspect of things with deadhead you you are also have an element of danger okay so deadheading uh, truckers or cargo van drivers face all kinds of roadway challenges. So I've said this before, but I want to insist on that because uh, deadhead miles are a serious problem in the industry. So from black ice to uh, high winds, drivers need to uh, take extra caution. So a deadhead vehicle might weigh half its weight uh, than when it's full and make it more susceptible to uh, weather threats. So this means that you have to really... Uh, navigate them more 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 responsibly so weather can really uh wreak havoc big time i mean severe weather affects travel and safety that's for sure and this whole thing makes it more dangerous to drive so some deadheading drivers avoid bridges and take extra precautions during hurricane seasons due to uh, carrying less weight so this can this can really add extra miles and expenses and again this is going to your your balance sheet this is going to your statement of cash flow. So this is actually more uh, more uh, cash outflows. Okay. Now, severe weather is sometimes unavoidable and, ca and causes traffic delays. That's really uh, important to think about that way. But you have to really understand that it's all about the possibilities. Things are really ha happening all the time. Let me give you an example. 
take Utah for instance on uh, September 8th 2020 a, little, a couple of days before uh, before COVID 45 semi trucks toppled over on Utah roadways as winds reached more than 75 miles per hour and trucks have a wide sail area similar to a sailboat making them vulnerable to wind interference so a 53 foot by a 9 foot truck can have a sail area of 500 square feet so the same winds that only a shake a passenger car can flip an entire truck okay so that's really a dangerous so i want to insist on that there, there's an element of danger here so truckers also are not really trained to that head so truck driving safety training courses cover uh, high winds and road safety however driving through a, let's say severe weather is quite different dead heading drivers uh, need to be cautious with uh, severe weather it's one of those things where the more practice you have the better it is anyway let me close to this conversation by giving you a few safety safety tips when it comes to a dead head miles whether you are a, a cargo van driver you are a trucker you are a sprinter van driver you are you are you drive all kind, you you drive a box truck so you want to know the tr the truck sail area, uh, area. So this varies by truck size. Also think about the uh, secure doors and loose items. That's very important when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, efficiency. You also want to follow the FM CSR pre trip ins ins inspection before rides. That's really critical also because you have uh, the possibility to anticipate. You have the possibility to uh, to plan. You have the possibility to be proactive. See, being proactive is going to help you actually avoid danger when it comes to uh coping with uh dead head miles you want to have a do you want to reduce speed so lower speeds to reduce wind force check the weather and travel reports current location destination so the geography plays an important role when it comes to uh, the weather observe road signs and landmarks shaking road signs grass blowing horizontally and when uncertain slow down or pull over to stay safe i mean t take a break you know you can just uh check your whatsapp or check your your facebook whatever it's just better that you you be safe than actually uh, be hurt on, on the road and you also actually uh, want to make sure that you are able to uh, get things done a lot faster but overall you if you want to really uh like uh limit dead head miles it's just better to uh stick to one one load board or two and try to really uh make sure that you have uh, a uh like, and the cool thing is great load boards you can actually uh, access them through your mobile so on the go you can tell what's really happening so if you are on the go you can really tell and some load boards even go as as far as uh giving you info about uh, the possibility uh, like the weather the weather uh weather issues weather problems that happen in the specific in the, the specific geography that you are going to uh drop loads at So as a summary to this conversation, I spoke to you about deadhead miles. I give you the facts, the detriments, the cost, the top hacks, the warnings, and now the summary. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.